Hey, Tim Destacio here. It is Psychrometric Saturday, and today we're going to talk about duct condensation. It is the middle of August, and that is notoriously the most humid month of the year in a lot of areas. I used to run a lot of condensation and high humidity calls in August, and no doubt you are too. So we're going to talk about why ducks sweat. Now let's first take one scenario here. This is in a crawl space and our ducks that are in the crawl space, it's the middle of August, it's warm, it's muggy. Our crawl space is around 75 degree dry bulb and 70 degrees dew point. And I've got that plotted right here. This is your typical crawl space in the hot muggy months of summer. Now, if we've got a supply duct under there and it's doing its job, the unit's putting out nice cold 55 degree air, and that supply duct only has R4 insulation, they've done studies on this and they say that when you put this duct making 55 degree supply air, R4 insulation in a 75 degree space, the surface temperature of that duct is going to be 69 degrees. So what do you notice about this? Well, the dew point in the surrounding area is 70 degrees. So anything that is below this blue line right here is going to sweat. And that's exactly what's happening right here with this duct. It's only wrapped with R4. It's cooler than the dew point of its surroundings. And of course, you're going to get water droplets forming. Now, let's see what happens when that duct gets wrapped with R6 instead. Okay, we've wrapped our ducks with R6 instead of R4. Have we made a change? Will those ducks still sweat? Well, again, they've done studies. A 55-degree duct that's wrapped with R6 in a 75-degree environment is going to have a surface temperature of 70.6 degrees. So, again, we're just barely above our dew point. Technically, we wouldn't sweat, but in reality, especially if the air in that crawl space is really stagnant, we absolutely would be sweating because we're so close to that dew point. So let's see what happens when we wrap that duct with R8, which is the current code required R value for duct work in an unconditioned space in a lot of areas. Let's see if that duct will still sweat. Okay, we've now got R8 wrapping that duct. Again, that duct is in a really humid crawl space, 75 degree dry bulb, 70 degrees dew point. It's putting out 55 degree air. It's wrapped with R8. And the studies have shown that that outer temperature is going to be 71.6. So just about one and a half degrees above dew point. We might be okay if there's some air moving in there. But if the air is stagnant, the dew point will absolutely be higher in the area right around that duct right there. And that duct will still sweat. And that's exactly what we see. We see R8 ducts sweating all all the time during really hot human months because the duct temperature is so close to the dew point. Well, what can we do about that? As we know, condensation happens when humid air hits something cold. So in order to prevent condensation, we either have to make the air less humid or we have to make something cold a little bit warmer. Well, can we do that with the duct? Well, you may think, well, if I speed up the fan in that blower, then I can raise that supply temperature and that may get me above dew point. But actually, they've done studies on that and a five degree rise in supply temperature, which would probably kill your cooling cap capabilities, only makes a one degree outer temperature difference. So we don't really want to go that route. So really the best way to do that is to try to raise the outer temperature of that duct in a different way, or maybe we can lower the dew point in the air around it. So putting a fan in the crawl space during the most humid parts of the year would probably go a long way to prevent duct condensation if those ducts are insulated with R8. If they're R4 or R6, you're probably not going to be helping much. And using duct wrap that is not really reflective and shiny, that actually has some radiant temperature capabilities and a dirty duct or a less shiny duct will actually con condensate less. So those are some little tricks that we can use to prevent duct condensation in a crawl space. What about an attic? Because we get plenty of ducts in an attic as well. To find that out, you'll have to tune in next time for Psychrometric Saturday.